Tom, uh, another victory last week, a 3-2 win away to South End. So how do you reflect upon that one? Yeah, very good. I thought the lads were very um, very on it. I thought after the Barnet game at the start of the season, uh, it was a bit of a wake-up call uh, that we probably needed because we had a good pre-season. So I thought that was a that was a bit of a blessing in disguise, to be honest, the Barnet game. It, it, um, reflected on some stuff that we needed to work on and I think over the last three games including the, the last the South Wing game we've uh, we've kicked on and we've uh, shown what we can do. Yeah and you mentioned there the run of form three in a row now so you look full of confidence at the minute. Yeah definitely I think all the lads are playing with, with a smile on their face they're enjoying it obviously the home games are vital that we uh, we, we get the fans going because we know how big they can, they can play a part do you know what I mean so I think as long as we uh, kick on at home and we uh, we're tight and we're, we're compact the way. I think we'll, we'll do well. Yeah, you speak about the positive atmosphere around the place and you know you see with the miles that the fans are putting in and the numbers are following in as well. So how important is it you know, having that back in? It's, it's not surprising to me. I've been here for, for three years and fourth season. Obviously, I know what the fans are like. They're unbelievable. That's why I've got a good relationship with the fans. I know how much it means to them. Um, they'll travel up and down to the moon and back, do you know what I mean, for the, for the, for the team. So... We've got to repay them with being on the pitch. Do you know what I mean? We've got to put in performances that they're proud of and aim for three points every week. Yeah, and one thing that we saw obviously on social media, you and the likes of Charlie Seaman, you know, celebrating with them after the game and after the goal as well. So, just how nice is it being able to have that connection with the fans? Definitely, yeah. Like I said, um, they've paid their hard earned money. They've travelled. What? How, how long was it? South End, five and a half hours. The, the least we can do is put in a good performance and. Go, and go over and say thank you at the end, do you know what I mean? Um, obviously, it's good to see them all smiling and uh, the, obviously the way we won was was, was quality and um, that bit at the end, the five, ten minutes after the game when the final whistle goes, we go over, clap them and then it's a, it's a nice moment between us both. Yeah, failed on Saturday. Um, just first off, what sort of test are you expecting from them? Yeah, tough test. Uh, Father always a, a well-organised team. Obviously, I was there on, on loan for a bit. It was a... Uh, uh, a good time for me um, on loan there because I got what I needed to get out of be, being there. So I know a few of the lads are good players. Um, it'll be a tough test. Yeah, and then straight after then we've got Chesterfield on Monday. So with two games so close together, how have you found preparing for those two? Uh, it's more. It's tough. Obviously, it'll be. Uh, I think the games are five tomorrow and then three o'clock Monday. So it's a quick turnaround. I think. I think rest is probably the most important thing. Obviously, the messages that you get of what how the teams are going to play is is important as well. So you just get that information, obviously, from the coaching staff. Get your rest in, and then uh, try and just get through the next two games, obviously, as best you can. Yeah, and you've been playing quite a deep role in the midfield three, obviously, alongside Anthony and Cookie. So how have you found them? Especially Anthony, obviously, you've been quite new to the team. Yeah, it's good. Um, obviously, I'm still adapting because I'm usually a bit further forward. Um, obviously, still coming. Slowly getting to up to speed post op. Obviously, my injury last season, uh, I feel like I'm still getting up to speed. Like, slowly, I'm not there yet. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've got a lot more to get back to the where, where I was a couple of seasons, well, not last season, the season before. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the challenge. Obviously, the gaff is on to me about stuff that I'm trying to pick up and trying to listen to him and, and in that role and just trying to do my best for the team I'll, I'll play wherever I'll put in whatever shift that I need to do for the team